Rafiq. In this video, we'll learn how we can download MySQL in mobile. At first, we will have to install Termux from Play Store. And after installing Termux in your Android mobile, open the app from the app gallery. So here is my Termux. T A R M U X. So the UI will be similar to this. After opening that, first you have to update the library. This you will have to do for the first time. You don't have to do it again and again. Just for that, you will write apt update and m person symbol two time. Sorry, it's not ap only. It is apt apt update. Then M person symbol two times. After that again apt upgrade. And after that you will hit enter button in your mobile keyboard. And remember this command is required only for the first time. Just to update your Linux libraries. It's asking me to whether I want to download the update or not. For yes we will type y and enter so it is updated after updating the library we will have to install mariadb for that we will write pkg install and here we will write maria m a r i a and together db without any space and hit enter so as I have already installed that app, so that message came MariaDB already the newest version. But if it is not installed, then it will start installing. It might ask you permission, like you will have to type Y for give permission. And after installing the app, to open it, you will type the following command. This command is important. This you might require again to open the MySQL afterwards. So that command is we will write my sql d underscore save s a f e then two days after that he will write grant then days tables skip grant actually skip first skip skip then again dash grant grant dash then you will write tables and after it one space and m person symbol again so after typing this command press enter so you will get some messages this type of actually by following command we are bypassing the security of mysql server so now we can open the mysql server for that we can type the command as my sql and press enter so you will see it came welcome to mariadb monitor so here we can make our databases and in Termax app you can pinch out and pinch in to zoom the screen or zoom out. So let's create a database. Let the database name be ABC. So we will write command as create database DB or we can write the name is ABC and to execute the command we will have to write semicolon and enter query ok came that means our database is created now if you want to see the already existed databases so you will write so databases and semicolon and press enter so I have this databases ABC DB information schema MySQL performance schema system and test from here information schema mysql performance schema test system 
these are already system defined database we cannot do anything with that but which we have created with that we can do the things if i want to select the database the command will be use a b c so database is changed if you want to delete a database you can write drop database and the name of the database let it be db so that database will be removed now let's see what databases are available so data bases now we'll see we don't have the db database here now as we are already inside the database abc you can see inside the bracket abc is showing that means we are inside the database abc so let's try to create a table with just two column id and name so our command will be create table the name of the table let the table name as contact and break it after that we'll go to next line or we can continue in same line let the first column be as id and data type is integer and the second column as name and data type is worker and inside the bracket the size is 20 and now again we'll close the opening bracket and semicolon to execute and enter query okay that means my table is created now see the structure of the table we can write desc name of the table the table name is context so con that semicolon so this is my structure let's zoom out so that you can see properly id and name there are just two columns and there are no keys defined here now let's enter values inside the table so the command is insert into contact values and inside bracket we'll write first number comma where there is integer we don't have to write inverted comma but when we are writing a textual value we have to add inverted comma let the name as be ram inverted comma close bracket close and semicolon query okay that means the data has added inside the table now to see whether the data is inserted inside the table or not we will write the query as select star from contact and semicolon so here we have just one record id is one name is ram so this way we can create table in mariadb it's exactly same as mysql it is the lighter version which we can install in lighter version of linux app and we can use it so i hope you have understood the steps at first you will go to play store install termux and inside termux install mariadb you bypass, bypass the security and you can do your practice your work here if you don't want to bypass the security you can create the user as well here but uh, that is a long process i will suggest you to do this method only to exit from mysql you will just write q u i t and semicolon enter so by command will be there that means you exited from the mysql server and to exit from the termx as you cannot see any physical button here to exit so you can type this command e x i t exit so this command will allow you to exit from the termux so it's log out again if you want to log in open the termux so here it will again open now again if you want to open mysql you can just write mysql it will open but if it does not open then you can write the following command uh, mysql d save then two days skip grant tables ampersand symbol so this way you can practice mysql command in your mobile i hope all doubts are cleared if you are still not able to download mysql in your mobile uh, we can discuss it in 
telegram channels i think you already know the id you search there and you send your problem definitely i'll solve it thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye